All right, everyone. So today we are going to be doing a, a look at Adam Sandler's movies and how good most of them aren't, and the very few that are mediocre. So, to start off, we've got Billy Madison. <laughs> Uh, Billy Madison was a good movie. It incorporated him with his awesomeness as being a very childish person. It could have been way better, but it was not as bad as it could have been. Next one, we've got Happy Gilmore. That one is a classic, need I say more. Grown Ups. That one's a complete and utter shit show, need I say more. Big Daddy. I mean, it's got a bit of a sexual name to the title, but in general, it was a very wholesome movie, but he could have done better. Fifty First Dates. Now this one, this one's a pretty classic movie. I personally like this probably most out of all of Adam Sandler's movies, except for maybe Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. The Water Boy. Well, The Water Boy, my friends, is... It's one of those movies where he portrays an idiot, just like in Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. Those ones are his older ones. The older ones are, in general, more funny than the newer ones. So, why is The Water Boy good? Well, because it's funny. This is, this is how you do a quality review, boys. Alright, next, next up, Blended. This one is one of his other ones with Drew, Barry, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, that's it. And um, these ones are always funny, except for Blended was not as funny as The Wedding Singer or Fifty First Dates was. Fifty First Dates. Wait, no, I already did that one. The Wedding Singer. The Wedding Singer, that one's a pretty cool, good classic. And we have the, uh, what you call it, his awesome song in there. Uncut Gems, don't know what that is, looks bad because it's new. Just go with it, nope, not going with it. Jack and Jill, ugh, nope. Punch Drunk Love, never heard of it, sounds awful. Grown Ups 2, sounds awful again. Little Nicky, never seen it, it looks awful. You don't mess with the Zohan, that is a classic. Utter, utter gold. Would you not agree, Matthew? I would agree 100% with your review. Your, uh, Thank you. Is a you know what I say to that? That's my boy. Get it? Because that's one of his movies. <laughs> All right, The Longest Yard. That, this, this is one of those classic football movies. They're overdone, and it's mediocrely funny. It has the N-word in it, which is a bit iffy nowadays. So I'm going to give this one a solid 8 out of... 8 out of 70. Actually, no, not 8 out of 70. 8 out of 17, so it's a bit under half. Murder Mystery, 2019, Need I Say More. The Ridiculous Six, 2015, Need I Say More. Funny People. If you have to say funny people in the title, it's obviously not funny. Mr. Deeds. This one's a pretty good one. He's pretty much just, uh, he got, he's a guy who just inherited like five billion dollars. He's a nice guy, so he donates it all away, and he gets scammed out of stuff. Click. I'm sorry for the bad camera work, but just, just do, do hold it. Click. This one is about a guy who has this magic remote that does stuff, except for it gets, it's a self-aware remote, and then his life goes to the shit, and it turns out it's all a dream. Sorry for the spoilers. Right over me. 2007, looks mediocre, <laughs> sounds like a wholesome movie, those ones aren't always that fun. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. That one was a good gay rights movie, it wasn't even that good, but it was okay. Hotel Transylvania, that one is actually pretty good. Good animation, good all that. Compared to Pixels, ugh, nope, that one is awful. I hate Pixels. Now going to Anger Management. Anger Management, well I kind of, good. I could, I think I needed it, but now I think I've handled it. But that one was awful, like too many plot twists and like, you never know what's going on. Matt's, Matt's wondering, why am I filming like this? Well, it's because I'm awful. The do-over. Yes, I want, I want to do a do-over of my life in that movie. The Marrow, whatever that is, don't know. Bedtime Stories, that's mediocre, not that good. Splanglish, sounds like English and Spanish. Doesn't seem that good. Sexy we Sandy Wexler, nope. Cobbler, that one was actually, uh, not really that good, but better than the other ones. Okay, there's too many more, like Coneheads, Mall Cop, ugh, Mall Cop, ugh. Benchwarmers, nah. Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2, I like how that's the very last one on the list. Well, gang, since I just wasted a lot of your time, four minutes and 50 seconds almost, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Love you.